Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem replace all zeros with fives. So first, let us understand the question and then we would solve it. So basically, in this question, for example, we are given a n value. One minute. So for example, we are given a n value. Let's say one zero zero five. Okay. So what do we need to do is we need to replace all the zeros with five. That means instead of these zeros, it should be replaced by fives. So that means the output would be one five five five. Okay. So this is the question. We are given a number. We need to replace all the zeros by fives. I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's solve it. What you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal, in the difficulty section, choose basic. Then you need to find the problem. Replace all zeros with fives. Once you find the problem, you need to click on solve. Let's solve it. Okay, here is the question. Let's read it. You are given an integer n. You need to convert all the zeros of n to five. Okay, I hope the question is clear to you, and we need to code it over here. Okay, so let's start. Let's code the question. Enter. First step is converted. Okay, I'm converting something that is list. Okay, circular bracket. Then map circular bracket int comma str. I'm converting the string, the number into a string. Okay. Enter now. I would apply a for loop on the string for i in range from zero, comma length. Okay, length of the converted value. Okay, now colon enter if converted converted at i is equal to equal equal to zero. Then I need to replace it with five, right? So converted i. Then would become equal to five. Okay, enter. Finally, I need to, you know, basically I converted it into string so that it's easy for me to replace the zeros by fives. But the output should be an integer, right? So we need to convert it back into a integer. So string int equal to square brackets str circular brackets int. Okay, then for I need to convert all the you know the characters in the string to integer values, right? For int in converted. Okay. Then next thing would be I need to join them together, right? So x equal to double quotes. One minute. So let's say x equal to double quotes. Then dot join. Okay. What do I need to join? I need to join the string in. Okay. After this, enter, and I can just return with the x, right? I can just return with x. Now I need to check if the solution is correct or not. So I would click on compile and run. One minute. Let's see. Let's wait. My compilation is over. My output is facing some issue because it's not matching. So let me check it out. So converted list in strn. For i to converted, then if converted equal to zero, then converted i equal to five, then string int. Okay, string should be outside the for loop. This should be outside the for loop, and this should also be outside the for loop. Clicking on compile and run. Let's wait. Okay, the compilation is complete. My output is matching with the expected output. So now I would submit the given problem. Let's wait. Problem is solved successfully, and this is how you solve the practice problem: replace all zeros with fives. I hope this video was helpful for you, and you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me. Thank you.